Hello everyone, are you setting up an online store with Webflow? In this video, we will show you how to add payments methods on Webflow in 2023, from connecting your preferred payment gateway to customizing your checkout process. We've got you covered with everything, so let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. First thing first, it is simply going to Webflow and creating a store. So how we can do it? Simply launch your browser and go to the URL section and search for Webflow. Here we go. And then go to their own website, which is webflow.com and connect to your account. Here, I'm going to create a new site simply by clicking on new site over here. And then they will take me to this page where I can create my own store. So here I'm going to choose a business store. So store starter and select it. Let's choose a name, for example, Lolly Store. And let's click on Create Site through here. Here we go. And now the site is being created. So just wait a little bit and they will make it up for us, as you can see here. And here it is, has been created in a couple of seconds and ready to go. So basically, this is the store. You can literally edit everything, guys. So if you were like not um, used to use this platform, which is Webflow, you can literally edit everything from this image to this text to this line over here, buttons and everything. I've made the previous video about Webflow as well, so you can watch it. I've taught you some tricks and how to edit and customize each of these layers that you can find in the layout of Webflow website. Now here is the cart, which is the page where you're gonna see all your products. And here are some kind of products that you are selling. So here you can just click here and you will find um, your CMS, which is your data collection of the product images that you have. So these are the product that you have, which is the product name, product price. And this is how the image will be like. So it's gonna be the image and the product description, it will be kind of like uh, the name and then the price. So now how we can add like the payment getaway to our store. First of all, we need to confirm that you have e-commerce. So here it is e-commerce and here we have to set up our guide. So here we have to add products. So we can just click here and then collection name. So we're going to add the name to our collection. And just like that, we have to add here the product name and some detail about it. So simply here, just save collection. And these are all the products that you have. If you'd like to add new products, just click here. And you can search the type. So digital, service, advanced, um, here physical. You can here add the name, slug, description, category, and here some media so you can show up your product to the customers. And finally over here, the price and the identifiers and your inventory or the stock in other ways. Here you can find the category of your products, the discount that you have, orders, and if you have kind of like description, uh, like subscription kind of websites, you can enable it through here. But first, you can you have to enable users to get started. So you can go here and enable this feature from here. And make sure, guys, that this is only the beta version. So make sure that you are not risking that much. If you turn it on, you might have some bugs in your website. Now, after you set it up everything, you have your products ready, you have categories, discounts, and everything. Where are you going to get paid? So, where can you get your payments methods in your website and add them over there? I'm going to show you now. Well, basically, there is kind of two ways, or one way with different platforms. There is automate.io, and there is this website, which is Zapier. So, Ozobit.io is tied since uh, 2022 and they are no longer working as you can see. But Zapier is still working, so you can use it. Let's continue with our Google account and log in. So, here it is. And let's keep these answers. So, let's give them some random answers real quick. Here we go. And now, what apps do you use? So, I'm going to choose Webflow, as you can see. And then 
choose another app which is the application that you are going to use to get paid for example stripe i'm going to use stripe in this tutorial so we're gonna use it then click on finish setup now as you can see we're gonna make a zap so we're gonna connect this app with this one so let's go with webflow and here stripe and now when this happens then do this so basically when someone purchases so from submission new order update order then do this so create products keep subscription find charts find invoice update customer create customer get payment link create price etc so we're going to use create payment link and here whenever someone submitted a new order uh, Stripe will create a payment link where they can go and pay you in your Stripe account. So you can just try it like that. As you can see, wait a little bit. And now, as you can see, you have to fix these problems that you have. So here you have to collect your Webflow account. And here you have to collect your Stripe account. It is as simple as that. So for example, we go here, sign in. And then let's wait a little bit. And let's connect these two authorized apps. And here you go. It will be fixed. Okay. All right. And we can choose the site value here. And uh, let's choose this one, for example, and continue. And we can test. So let's test something. Test trigger. Uh, create a new order. We can find any order. So we have to create a new order. Uh, account to test your trigger so we have to go and create a new order and let's see if we can create a new order um, I don't think so but let's try this out let's publish it and here we go uh, let's wait and then let's click here to share and can I get like the link somehow let's click on publish once more and let's open the website here i'm going to hit there there and try to add to cart please select an item white add to cart continue to check out check out is disabled on this site okay i forgot to tell you guys that you have to actually enable the checkout so it is pretty easy Just go to e-commerce again continue and then here i have to add your business name street address city and currency settings as you can see here so you have to choose the currency and then the checkout will be activated right after you put your credit card. But for now, let's say that you have added the checkout. It will be simple, easy. You can click on continue and then you have to go to the payment method. In the payment method, you, for example, we choose Stripe. In case you choose Stripe, they will give you like a link. So Stripe will automatically or Zapier itself will create automatically a link using stripe that people can use to pay you in your stripe account directly so this is how you can create or add the payment method with zapier guys on your webflow so you can use not only stripe you can use whatever uh, application they have on zapier and connect the webflow website with that uh like that app so yeah guys that was it in this video thanks a lot for watching and see ya in the next tutorial